Hi, hello, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing wonderfully today. And in this video, I want to talk about different ways you can use video in your existing content marketing efforts. So I saw this interesting stat the other day, which is that experts think video will make up 74% of all web traffic in 2017. I saw another statistic that said 60% uh, of marketers and business owners plan to invest more in video in 2017. So I don't know about you, but when I see stats like that, I think, man, I need to be making more video in 2017. Or if you're not making any at all, maybe you're thinking I definitely need to get into video this year. And so today I want to talk about uh, 10 different ways that you can start using video in your existing marketing efforts, because you know, really to me, content marketing is all about repurposing uh, everything that you can so that you, you get the maximum results with the minimum effort. So without further ado, let's jump into these 10 different ways. Number one, you can simply repurpose existing text content. Now, if you're doing much content marketing, you're probably already spending quite a lot of time researching and writing blog posts and things of that nature, uh, probably to attract traffic to your website or just build a relationship with prospects and customers. So why not make the most of your invested time and energy creating all those resources and materials by sitting down in front of a camera and talking through them? This is a great and pretty easy way to get your content in front of more people. I read a stat the other day that said four times as many people would rather watch a video about a product than read about it. And the great news is this takes very little in the way of resources or gear. Really there are two ways that you can approach it. You can do what I often do, which is just sit down in front of a camera and talk through this material while it's fresh in your mind. Or if you're a little camera shy or don't own a camera or other gear that you feel like you need to create a quality video, you could also create an animated video that just pulls out highlights from your article. I have a tutorial that shows how to do that. I'll link it up so that you can check that out too. Okay, on to number two. You can film your podcast episodes. This of course assumes that you have a podcast. If you don't, uh, maybe you could start one or probably not, but uh, if you have a podcast and you're often doing interviews and things like that, then why not just set up a camera and film the whole thing? In the end, you'll have something that creates a little more intimacy and depth that I think your audience will really enjoy. It kind of shows off more personality. It just adds a whole nother dimension to what you're doing. And again, it's really easy. All you gotta do is set up a camera. Like my last suggestion, this really is just all about reusing things that you've already spent time creating because again, I think successful and effective content marketing is all about repurposing things when you can. A third way that you can use video to market yourself or your business is to feature customer testimonials. So in psychology, the rule of social proof states that we are more likely to do or try things when we see other people doing them. Now, this is why customer testimonials can be so powerful. When you see someone talking about a product or a service and how it fixed some problem in their life or how their life is now better as a result, that can be very compelling. For an effective customer testimonial video, try to tell a story. Have the customer start with the problem that they were experiencing and describe how they found your product and how it eventually led them to have a better life in some way. Another way you can use video to market your business or particularly a product is to do a product demo or walkthrough. So one of the biggest deterrents and reasons that people hesitate when thinking about buying something is fear. Fear of making the wrong choice, anxiety, uh, that sort of thing. And the best way that you can alleviate that is to give them a lot of information, all the information they need to make an informed decision. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to simply walk through your product, show how it works, show what it's really like to use it day in and day out. When you do this, you'll be giving all the great information that your prospects need to make that decision. So this could be exactly what your prospects need to get them off the fence. All these people are the fence straddlers who cannot make up their mind about your product. So go ahead and open up a screen recording tool and talk through your product's benefits and features. The fifth way that you can use video in your content marketing efforts is to include it in your emails. So studies show that including video in your emails can actually boost email engagement by 50%. That's talking about things like reading time, uh, clicks, forwards, things of that nature. Not only that, research also shows that simply including the word video in your email subject line can boost open rates. So there are a lot of potential benefits of using video 
in your emails. So give it a shot. All right, we're over halfway done to number six, which is create a video course. So if you know a lot about a particular thing, it makes sense to create a course around that. Courses are viewed as really high value types of content. So this will help you whether you want to use it to get leads, you know, you make a free course and you only ask people to give their email address to sign up, or you can even directly drive revenue by charging for the video course. There are a number of ways that you can build and host your own video course, or you can borrow the authority and established audience of a platform such as Lynda, Udemy, Skillshare, or several others. My seventh suggestion for you today is to broadcast live. So I think we're gonna see a lot more live video in 2017, partially because there's so many more platforms for it. You have Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Periscope, uh, Instagram has a live aspect to it now. So all these platforms are not only offering all these live video tools, they're also prioritizing live video. And it's, there's, there's a good reason for it. Facebook found that people watched live videos on Facebook three times as long as just standard videos. So it's, it's a good idea to experiment, maybe if you have any events coming up or important announcements, try live streaming them and, and just see what the response is. Another type of video that falls into the live broadcast category, although it's probably less fun than you know Instagram Live or Periscope or Facebook Live or something like that, but it's the webinar. So depending on your industry, a webinar can be really useful for getting qualified leads or even directly driving revenue. So you might wanna consider that as well. Either way, live video inherently has this sense of urgency. So people wanna watch because you know there's the whole FOMO, fear of missing out element at play there. So you can use that to really get a lot of people to tune into your message. The eighth way that you can use video in your marketing really isn't all that inspired. It's actually been around since the 40s and that is video advertising. So the difference is now with social media you can get really granular with your targeting. So you can make sure that the, the perfect person is seeing your message at the perfect time and you can get a pretty good return on investment. Number nine, you can supercharge your customer service with video. Now most people probably don't think of customer service as being a part of content marketing, but if you approach it creatively, it definitely can be. Both Dell and Warby Parker got acknowledged on major publishers' websites by simply responding to their customer questions in social media with brief videos. It's just something that was, uh, at the time, so unusual and, and uncommon that it, you know, people took notice and they got a ton of free PR for it. Even if you don't get that, it's likely gonna surprise your prospects and your customers enough that they're either gonna like it or retweet it or share it with someone. And so, you know, your message will then exponentially reach more people. My 10th and final recommendation for you today is to capture your company's culture with video. So there's an old sales truism that says, before we buy from someone, we must know, trust, and like them. And this is very much in line with the modern trend for companies to be very transparent and authentic. What better way to do that and to humanize your brand than to share a few behind the scenes videos of what it's like at your company, of the different people who make up your company. Whether you choose to do this with Snapchat or Instagram stories, I mean, there's a lot of platforms and ways to do it, but the point is, you know, it's, it's good to show what goes on and what you really like. This is gonna help give you a human relationship and connection with your prospects and your customers. So that's all I've got for you today, but before you go, please know that if you need royalty-free background music for all the new videos you're going to be creating this year, you can rely on Music for Makers. So at Music for Makers, I send out one free stock song every week uh, that you can really use however you want. And if you want more than that, then you can upgrade your subscription and unlock my entire library of stock music. So it's something to consider as you're trying to create better, more professional videos this year. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Do you plan to create more video in 2017? Do you plan to use any of these tactics or do you have any more that you plan to try? Please leave a comment below because I'd, I'd love to hear about it. I love to hear from everyone and I read every comment and try to respond to every comment that I receive. And if you like this video, if you found value in these recommendations, please like this video and subscribe for more content like it. Until next time, I'm Logan and I'll see you later.